In this video, we take a look at the Panda 1800, how to put the inks, prime, and do mailing. So stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is Joss from Kingdom DTF. Welcome one more time to the channel. This is your first time stopping by. Go ahead, subscribe, hit the like button, click the bell notification, and that way you know when we got new videos out there. So in this second part of the Panda 1800, we show you how to put the inks, prime, and do maintenance, and one of our team members is going to do that. So Tina, take it over. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina Tina. We're back at it again. And today we're gonna go ahead and fill the Panda 1800 up with some ink and get it running to show you guys how it works. So compliments of Kingdom DTF. We have your cyan, your white, your magenta, your yellow, and your black. Now I've already shaken up the inks. It's it's customary for me to do so. I use a funnel, you don't really need to, but I prefer to, to prevent the mess. Um, so here we go. So we're just gonna go ahead and take out the lid. And nine times out of the 10, they will all have a foil. Just go ahead and make a hole in it, cut it open. And we'll lay the funnel in and pour the ink directly into it. And we're gonna do that for each color individually. I normally don't fill it all the way to the very, very top on any printer per se. I always allow some room at the top. And of course, as you know, in our process, you're not able to allow the inks to empty. I try to always refill once it's halfway. And that's our process. We're gonna do this for each color. All right guys, so all the inks have been filled and now we're gonna go ahead and hit the red switch behind the machine and that's gonna turn on your circulation system. And we close the cap. Okay guys, so once we've filled in all the ink, we have to pull out each damper individually. That's what your damper looks like. Now, this side is a plastic casing, so be very careful not to squeeze that. Then in your order, you got a bag of three syringes with five different adapters, and that's one for each color. And what we're gonna do now is called priming the damper. So once this is connected, you're gonna shove this into this little hole right here, gently, and then you're gonna pull out five milliliters worth of ink, and that is priming your damper to fill the damper in with ink, and you'll see, almost complete. And of course, once you empty this, you can just empty it right back into the ink because it's still very good ink. We just want to make sure we got a good flow and that line is complete. We're going to do this process for each color and then run our first head cleaning. Okay guys, so it's recommended that we take out the waste tank line also and we put the syringe in it and suction some ink out of it just like we primed the dampers. This is according to the manufacturer. So super simple, same thing. I'm gonna stick it in the back of the line. We're gonna pull five or 10 milliliters out. Once we've primed it, you see there's some color in there. That's its purpose. We're just gonna go ahead. We just put it back into the well, let me pull it out put it back into the little tank and push it back into its position and now we are ready so once you've loaded the paper you have to make sure you put enough film in the in the insert and then on the side on the left hand side there's a forward arrow and a back arrow you have to hit the forward arrow which allows it to feed and the back arrow allows it to go back once we've done that we're going to power up the machine 
and the machine is going to recognize the film. Okay guys, so once you've already set up the Panda, you're gonna have to install your driver. This white USB that comes in the package, uh, this is what you're gonna install. Once you open this, you're gonna see uh, this open. And once this opens, the first one where it says for new customers, there is a video, a step-by-step -step video on how to download um, the actual driver. Now, once you've done that, it's super simple, so don't worry. I just wanna show you a couple things here. Once you've done that and you've gone to the software driver, you're gonna to go to the A3 drive and it's gonna give you a 32-bit option or a 64-bit option, depending on what your computer, laptop, desktop, whatever it is, uh, depending on what that is, you're gonna click the one accordingly. Mine is the 64. Once we double click that, it's going to give you an option for a 1390 English driver, 64-bit or an L1800. You are going to install the L1800. Once that has happened, I'm sorry, rather, once that is complete, um, the driver has been installed and then you're going to move forward with your RIP software. It also comes with a RIP software, depends on which one you're going to move forward with. I'm not using the one that came included. I'll be proceeding with Catalink. But super simple steps, that's all you have to do to install the driver. Okay guys, so once you've installed the driver, you're going to go to settings, printers and scanners. You're going to look for your newly installed driver. In this case, mine is going to be the L1800 copy one. Double click, click on manage printing preferences and then we're going to do a cleaning so in the beginning of work or when you're starting up your printer everyone has a different process um, but for maintenance purposes and since we've just installed the ink we need to go ahead and run a head cleaning so we're going to go ahead and click on maintenance head cleaning double click it's going to prompt a button and it'll ask you to print several seconds and then you'll just go ahead and press start and it'll start the head cleaning. Head cleaning is complete. Ink is through the lines. Now we're going to do the first nozzle check and see what we get. The nozzle check. the Panda 1800. This is officially our first print. Super excited. Everything's moving smoothly. Head cleaning was good. Nozzle check was perfect. That white is beautiful, that coating. So excited, guys. Look at that Panda 1800 in action. Guys, look how beautiful. This is the very first print on the Panda 1800. Look at those colors. Look at the detail. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Putting that Panda 1800 to work, y'all. Look at that, gang printing at its finest. So it's the end of your shift and you're shutting down and you have, you've already ran your last head cleaning. So now what we have to do for regular daily maintenance is wet capping. So you'll power off the machine, obviously, and then turn it back on. Once it's on and you see the carriage move, you'll hit power off and that will allow you to move the carriage back and forth. Now this piece right here is your wet capping station. And this little bin, this little crate or little grid, whatever you want to call it. This is your capping station and this is where your print head rests at the end of the night or every time you turn it off. So what we're going to do is go ahead and put solution right in the middle of that. Normally what I do is I take a syringe and I put a little bit of distilled water, I pat it down, remove any excess ink and or residue and then I go ahead with the syringe again and I add my cleaning solution. So bear with me and watch how we do it. So this syringe has my distilled water and we're gonna gently squirt this in there. We don't wanna overdo it. We wanna make sure we don't wet any other components. So you have to be very gentle. Now we seal that and now I just take a bounty and literally just absorb it. Press down on it. Don't worry, it has a spring so it will go down. 
and I just remove any excess, any residual. It's always good every week to clean around the cleaning, or rather, I'm sorry, around the capping station with a cleaning swab to get any ink off. And also, this little doohickey right here, I will show you, this is what is called your wiper blade, and we also want to clean that regularly too. So now that we've removed any of the residual, we'll go ahead and put in some solution, cleaning solution that is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and add my cleaning solution into the capping station, gently fill it, there we go. And now I'm going to move my print head on over. And once I've done that, I will power on the machine again, allow the carriage to go back and forth and then it'll go back and sit in place and you'll power it off and you're done for the night. There you got it guys, the Pada LAT-100. Now you know how to put the inks, prime, and also do maintenance. So if you think this printer is for you, you can find it on kingdomdtf.com. It's a single head and it's, go, it's called Panda LAT-100. So until the next video guys, as always, my name is Joss, keep printing. You got it.